Good morning again, class. Welcome to the continuation of the chapter 3 of Sampling and Sampling Distribution. We are now on our lesson 3, which is solving problems involving sampling distribution of the sample means. And our objective is solve problems involving sampling distribution of the sample means. So if you remember, we briefly discussed simple, uh, central limit theorem on our last chapter which is uh, the normal distribution. So, the, the central limit theorem is of fundamental importance in statistics because it justifies the use of normal curve methods for a wide range of problems. So, this theorem applies automatically to sampling from infinite population, meaning limitless. Okay, It also assures us that no matter what the shape of the population distribution of the mean is, the sampling distribution of the sample mean is closely normally distributed whenever n is large. Consequently, it justifies the use of the formula here, uh, say is equal to your um, sample mean minus the mean over your um, standard deviation over the square root of your of the size of your sample. When computing for the probability that um, sample mean will take on a value within a given range in the sampling distribution. So here, sine is the sample mean, the mu is the population mean, and the, the sigma is the population standard deviation. And lastly, n is the sample size. So um, let's have examples to understand what really is central limit theorem and how do we apply this in the sampling distribution. For example, number one, the average time it takes a group of college students to complete a certain examination is 46.2 minutes. The standard deviation is 8 minutes. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. What is the probability that a randomly selected college student will complete the examination in less than 43 minutes? So for this question, we need to identify what are the givens. So we have our average time or our mean, which is 46.2 minutes. We also have our standard deviation, with it, which is equal to 8. And lastly, for the question number 1, we have the random variable of 43. So second, we're going to identify what is S4. So according to this, we're looking for the probability of a randomly selected college student that will complete the examination in less than 43 minutes. So we can say that is the probability of X less than 43. So for our third step, we are dealing with an individual data obtained from the population. So we're going to use the formula of our say score. That is Z, if you remember this one on our second chapter, X minus your mu over your standard deviation to standardize 43. Okay, so next, we're going to substitute all the givens here. So 43 minus your mean, with it, which is 46.2 over 8. So 43 minus 46.2 divided by 8 is equal to negative 0.40. So if you remember in our normal distribution, negative sign means that is below your mean. So here in our um, um, normal distribution graph or diagram, so we can say that somehow here, the negative 0 0.40 is located here, okay? So we're looking for um, the randomly selected variable that is less than 43. Okay, So meaning we're looking for this area or the number of students 
that can take the examination less than 43 minutes. So, we shall find probability of x less than 43 by getting the area under the normal curve. And so, how do we do that? So, probability of x less than 43 is equal to the probability of, say, less than negative 0 0.40. So remember, um, to compute for the area, let's subtract the half of our um, normal distribution, which is the 50%. We convert this into area. And then um, the value of negative 0.40 in our say table is 0.1554. Okay, so 0 0.5,000 minus 0 0.1,554 would give us an answer of 0 0.3446 or convert this into percent is 34.46%. So therefore, the probability that the randomly selected college student will complete the examination in less than 43 minutes is 34.46%. So let's write the conclusion. 34.46% is the probability that the college that they randomly selected college students I mean college student will complete the examination in less than 43 minutes less than 43 minutes let's proceed to the second question for our question number two, if 50 randomly selected college students take the examination, what is the probability that the mean time it takes the group to complete the test will be less than 43 minutes? So again, we're going to identify what are your givens. So we have the mean of 46.2, standard deviation of 8, the sample mean of 43 and the size of your sample that is 50. Next, we're going to identify what is S. So based on this question, we're going to find the probability of the mean time it takes the group to complete the test. Um, that will be less than 43 minutes. So we can say your sample mean less than the 43. Okay, next, so we can say that we are dealing with the data about the sample means. So now we're going to use the central limit theorem, which have a formula of say is equal to your sample mean minus your mean over your standard deviation divided by the size of your sample. Substituting this, so 43 minus 46.2 divided by 8 over square root of 50. So 43 minus 46.2 will give us an answer of 0. Point, um, sorry, I mean 3.2 negative 3.2 and then 8 divided by square root of 50 will give us an answer of 1.1313708499 so uh, remember class that when you are doing or solving during the um, process or the operation don't round off the um, decimals so the only time that you will going to round off the decimal is when you get when you get the answer. Okay? So for this, it will give us an answer of negative two point eight 
0-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-9-